Hello everybody and welcome to the stream. So um, today we're gonna be playing Plan no not Plan vs Zombie this time. Minecraft vs Zombies 2. Well technically the last time we played is 2 2 but I didn't put 2 in the in the title or thumbnail because um there's no one. This game I played it long time ago when I only have like 300 subscribers. So yeah, it's, it's quite a nostalgia for this channel. But to a lot of you guys who haven't seen this game, it's gonna be new and that's nice. Special thanks to our channel supporters. Hey neighbor, long time no say. It's been a long time since I last saw you. How's how you experiment with the contraptions now? You almost forgot everything, huh? Would you like a review? For the sakes of experiences, I'll say yes. Okay, let's rock. Let's click a blueprint to choose a contraption. So this is called blueprint. Blueprint, and the thing is called contraptions. Click on the lawn to place a contraption. Yep. Nicely done. Click redstone to collect me. Me is is uh what is it? What's me? Me is mechanical, me mechanical energy. Also, there's a pause screen. Nice. All right. So yeah, me is sun. Contraption is plant, and blueprint is seed packets. Defeat the zombie with your dispenser. There you go. But yeah, this is basically sunflowers. You can probably guess what these can do. It's kind of obvious. Anyway, uh. Boom. Boom, huh? That's great. Finally, the pixel can dig out place contraption. Try to dig all contraption. Ah. Okay. So. That's the tutorial. Hey, neighbor, you're getting the hang of it. I didn't say anything and yet you have already completed the tutorial. Ah, the sum is coming after you again. Never, you just got to defeat him. Alright, alright, those are the basic zombies. Those are some basic zombies. Ready, set, build. So mob can't jump over obsidian. Well, yeah, you, you, you can't really apply Minecraft uh, logic to Minecraft as a zombie, can you? I mean, this is Minecraft as a zombie, but come on. Alright, that's Conehead. And in this case, in this case, leather helmet. Although the sound effect doesn't sound literally, you know. Have a listen. Yeah, that's just the corn corn effect from Plymouth Sesame One. Uh, yo, it's the wouldn't you play and stream Minecraft so well someday? I don't really enjoy playing Minecraft. How dare you! I I watch Minecraft gameplays, I watch Minecraft YouTubers, I like Minecraft, Minecraft, but I don't like playing it. Alright, some more emeralds. Um bucket head, I mean iron helmet. Just mine TNT. And my plan for the zombie 3? I don't like it. But uh don't want to talk about it because it's, it's already beaten to death by many many people so yeah don't 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 really want to be the dead horse at this point literally everybody has talk about it how bad it is and blah 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 uh, this looks like a treasure map yeah it sure does if, if you follow this treasure map maybe we can find something magical what do you think that's buried in the end of this map? Maybe it's the entrance to... Gensokyo. And if you don't know what Gensokyo is, that's fine, that's totally fine. Because... Wait, did... Did... Yeah, the, uh, our... Uh, our crazy villager, Dave, wanna... Wanna see some Toho waifus. Yeah, he, he sure is crazy. So we'll we'll go to Kinsokyo. We'll we'll finally meet some Toho waifus, guys. Yes! Yes! 
Hey, here we go. So that's mine. That just works like uh, sun falling from the sky in Pumpkin Zombie. But the first world is a nighttime world, so I, I still have mixed feeling about this. I think it's really weird. Minecraft vs Zombie One is just a texture mod of Minecraft vs Zombie, and someone decided to make a sequel off of that as a totally separated fan game. So yeah, I played I played Minecraft vs Zombie Two, and I'm also playing Minecraft vs Zombie Two. Why am I playing it again? Uh, it got remade. It got remade in a different game engine, and there's also English translations now. So yeah, it's also a nice way to promote someone's work by playing it. Of course, I, I do know a lot of games. So like, okay, I I do play other games in my free time too. It's, it's not like I only know and play Plants vs Zombie. Okay, I know a lot of games. I just don't stream them. Because I want this channel to be uh, Plants vs Zombies based. So yeah, if you if if you were wondering, right? Wow, a wild wild witch. Yeah, it has appeared. Uh, looks like she's not she's not real yet. It'd be nice if I can get like actual uh voice actor to do this, but like. Well, do I do I really do I really have to voice over them? No, All right. So. Excuse me, but who the fuck are you? We found a treasure map, so we are going whatever it tells us to go. I can fucking realize that on my own. But since you came here, more zombies started to show up. So make your ass useful and get rid of them, or I'll TNT your balls. No problem, leave it to me and my pal, Steve. Yep, we are Steve. Alright, so there are 11 levels, and there's one E. Yee. Hey pal, let me share you some magical things. Magical, you say. This is called the Star Shot. It changes into a different item based on our location. However, the effect is the same. Activating your contraption evocation ability. That's a that's an interesting word. I mean, in Plant Me Two, we just call plant food effect because it's plant food. But this is star shot. Why just why just why don't just call it star shot effect? I don't know, but whatever. All right, let's try magic candy. The star shot of this area. Yep. Yep. So yeah, if if anyone still think if if anyone still thinks that this is a mod, think again. Seriously, think again. How do you mod an entirely new feature? Anyway, there are gravestones. Not quite. Not quite. Anyway, we have small dispenser, which again. Just pop room. Oh boy, here's a skeleton. Here we go. Oh, no, don't do that. All right. So, hey, this is Moonlight Sensor. Uh, you do seem to have excellent skill. Oh, and it seems like I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Orange, a soul, so a soul sorceress. I'm here waiting for someone. Huh, you are Orange? You know me? Uh, I've heard the name. In our village, we rely on Alan Gullen to defend from those monsters. And you should be the creator of the Alan Grimm's Golem's prototype. Alan Golem's, uh, somewhat. But I've left that behind for a long time. This game has a lot of dialogues and story that I'm not sure if I can keep it up. From what we have played so far, every level has some sort of dialogues and they are long. 
Alright, well, let's go to level 3 then. Moonlight. Mo Moonlight sensor. You, you see our son? Anyway, uh, I think this it's setup is solid now. Yeah, it rotates so cool. Yeah, if, if if they see a tall contraption, they'll stop and shoot. If they see a small contraption, ooh. If they see a small contraption, they just walk past it. Whoops. I think I'm gonna use one here. Um, what's the hotkey for it? Oh, W. No, 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 symmetry. Right, this game. This is glowstone. It can light up area around it and dispel fog. Fog? What fog? Anyway, now that we got, we have glowstone, right? So the effect, the ability is light areas, clear fog, and detect detect ghosts. All right, so this is what we're gonna have for this level because we don't need furnace. So you can this. Oh, interesting. So that's cool because yeah, ghost was extremely annoying and unfair in my opinion. So yeah, that's a that's a good change. That's a good change. I love it. I love it. Because I really don't like zombies that require specific counters to defeat. Like balloon zombie and digger digger zombie in Plum Zombie 1. It's not a good design in my opinion. Like forcing you to use something. It's not how you make people use something. If you want people to use the plant, that plant has to be one, good, two, unique. And yeah, that's all you need. Okay, so yeah, it, it takes some damage. But I don't know how much. But come on. I've learned my mistake. Come on, come on. Alright, better be prepared. That's not so bad. Alright. This is Punchton. Oh, so the name changed. I can't remember what was the name, but it's now Punchton. It can knock back enemies for a long distance and heavily damage fragile stone or other objects. However, it will be broken after the punch and needs some time to repair itself. Break him up. Yeah, it, it was in piston. It was in piston, but now it's punched them. I've been noticing some strange things about this swamp. We have stayed here for four days, but it's still Halloween's Eve. Ah, that's because this place has been rich. Occurs. The time of this swamp will be Halloween's Eve forever. Just like a mystery, a mysterious painting where time stopped eternally. That's a weird phenomenon and all, but it won't get in our way. Well then neighbor, keep on fighting the almanac. Yeah, story. Story. This is just me or does the game looks good. I mean, of course it looks good, it plays good, it looks good. And I don't want to be biased, but this game is well made. And if you ignore all the blocky texture, it's a good tower defense game. It's a good climate system defense game. Why did I say day instead of night? Day doesn't mean the time of the day. Day, mean, day means the day. English is stupid. In other languages, the word for the daytime and day is different, but not here. Alright, I hope that I can just destroy that before the... yep. Alright, good. It's like, um, Grape Buster. 
that great person plus shot god. As you can see, it destroyed grave instantly, but it also knocked back zombies, and it can do both. Also, the punch stun deal uh, 100 damage to the zombie, ignoring the armor, so I can just two shot a bucket hit just like that. So yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Alright, it's final wave time. It also one shot this guy too. As you can see. Also, let's try the evocation effect. He he do be gone. Anyway. Here's the almanac. 